Warning, Shut Up Let's Talk contains some rad but heavy language and adult themes and may not be suitable for audiences under 18. Viewer discretion is advised. Folks, uh, we're back here for the second time, and you know what? This fucking the, the lights, the lights behind my computer are just going like. Think <laughs> you're better off alone. Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting that vibe from the back of my. I computer. know, but it's, it's jamming back there, bro. Huh? Those lights are just. It is yamming, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> better off alone. Yeah. Yeah, this is some sandstorm Darude. <laughs> Folks, it's a, it's a new episode of Shut Up, Let's Talk. We tried to do some fancy camera stuff. It didn't work out today. We're hanging out with Raphael of Eras 1. We're recording a brand new episode from the new Shut Up, Let's Talk studios. We got the OnlyFans lights set up. Yeah! Which I'm never going to stop using that joke. Cause yeah. it's, you know, I, I, uh, that, that joke has got major mileage to me, <laughs> goddammit. Um... Top one percent OnlyFans. Yeah. Content oh yeah, I forgot that there's a rank. I love that there's a ranking system in well, OnlyFans. Can yeah. you imagine? You know, here's an interesting thought. Well, first of all, Rafael, <laughs> before we start talking about OnlyFans, <laughs> Rafael, welcome to the show. Thank you. What do you Thank do, you. my man? You're the lead singer of. I'm gonna answer your own question Cheers, for man, you. Real quick. Cheers, yeah. man. You're the lead singer of Eras One, a really good band out from Thanks. down here in South Florida. And tell us more. Uh, well, we are a five-person metal band. Uh, from South Florida. <laughs> uh, we've been around since 2014, established 2014 as a four-piece uh, metal band from South Florida, and now we are a five-piece metal band for South Florida with over 150 shows under our belt. Really, um, dude? Yeah, it's, we counted. We sat down and counted all the invi- all the Facebook events ones. This was like a year and a half ago, so there's more. But um, So all the ones that we could count, it was like 130, and then there was a bunch of that was like they didn't have events or you know things that we couldn't find or whatever, so... Definitely over 150 uh, shows under our belt, so that's why we are so professional. And that's um, why your back went crazy. And that's why my back, I have 20 hertz, 20 discs in my back that are messed up. That's 150 <laughs> shows worth of back pain right there, dude. And it makes sense. To, yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Well, I mean, it's good to, It's. I'm glad you're feeling better because I, I, I first got in touch with you through your back pain, actually. At the hospital. <laughs> yeah, like you, you, I think you had posted something about, because uh, I follow you on Facebook, so uh, you had posted something about yourself not feeling too great and i i, I told you like oh, i hope you're feeling better let's let's do something <laughs> and here we are today yeah, yeah. <laughs> so three months later or yeah. whatever two months later three months later and a, and a lot of bed rest and medication right? yes <laughs> i was happy much. to see you get out of the car today i was like oh sweet yeah dude. no cane no walking yeah assistance you know yeah i'm doing great are you ever gonna start doing yoga is that a thing in your mind yeah yeah for sure yeah like i i, I definitely i mean right now i'm like severely overweight uh <laughs> Like Are I, you? I, I, yeah, I'm like 235 pounds when I should be, you That's know, I'm deceptive. five six, five seven. So I should be like one. Is it all 70. muscle? Because it can't be fat. You don't. Oh, you no. don't... oh it's it's definitely not my. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not my manliness or my manhood. It's the pecs. <laughs> it's, the pecs. <laughs> it's all wiener. It's, 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 all, it's, it's I wish. No, it's all 40 my pounds of dick right there. It's all <laughs> my thighs and my titties. That's that's in my head because all all the fat goes to my head because. I'm big headed, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so well, I had a sur- so I had a surgery to remove uh, a part of a, a herniated disc, you know, and then they also remove a bit of bone, so that like the the nerves when they get swollen don't like necessarily push up against that part of the bone. Uh, it's like a very tiny part, but it's like it's really weird. And I was like, oh, Whoa. that's crazy, but it's not as severe as it could be, where like they fuse the vertebrae, but that might be the next step. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and how's your back feeling now? Right now, I'm in a bit, little bit of nerve pain uh, from the past couple of days. I don't know what happened. I, I was laughing. Like, I was talking to my friend. I was laughing really hard. Uh, coincidentally, when I fucked up my back the first time, not the first time, I've, been, I've had these injuries for over 10 years, but when I um, messed up my back ba- back in January, uh, I was coughing, and I just, uh, and then I just, I was done. Done skis. Uh, oh. So I was laughing, and then I felt like very similar, like tense up feeling in my lower back. And ever since for, for a few days, my, my nerves have been kind of like, 
I feel like they're just swollen or irritated, you know, so I don't think it's like a huge setback. I think it's just part of like the healing process, hopefully. Well, thanks for coming by here. I already felt guilty asking you to come oh, no, all the no, way no, here. No, no, I love it. I'm all about this shit, bro. <laughs> thanks, man. And I was like, I was like, maybe I should go over to his neck of the woods and <laughs> record. When so, I mean, uh, you know, not that it, not that it technically matters, but like, when is the next performance? Like, when 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 can we see you like on the stage? I don't know yet. We that's kind so of I gave my band my band the timeline of about like July. That's also cool. because like our basis is gonna be he got a new job so he's gonna be doing some training out of town for a couple weeks um so in the meantime well, we're not playing shows obviously we're working on the album we're getting it mixed we're getting it sent to a producer to you know produce it and like give us some critique whatever and if we got to change anything we'll change it up for the final so in that time you know we'll be working on the mixing we'll be working on hopefully videos all the content that we need to do for the release uh who's producing the album if you if you don't mind uh, i can't say ah okay, okay. <laughs> because he hasn't uh, fully agreed to it yet oh but okay, he, okay. he listens to a song he's an international he's, he's he, excuse me he's produced like some international some bands in south america a uh, big man in south america and uh but you know i i can't say much about it what kind of bands because my girlfriend's really into that like metal of, bands metal bands that's what's up like yeah. uh like, like, so I, not, not, to, not to name drop you, because I'm just interested, because my girlfriend really loves, she puts me onto all this Spanish rock, uh -huh. and I've learned so much of it, okay. like, and so, like, I would, I would love to know if there's any bands she likes, so, it's, but whatever, but, but. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, in the band? style of, like, Sepultura, kind of. Cool. It's not, obviously not, but they're kind of, like, but in, in that, that same vibe. realm, you know, so. What kind of Spanish rock do you like, because, you know, she uh. showed me a band <laughs> called, she showed me a band called Rata Blanca. I've never heard of them. And I like them. It's this cool. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like. Um, Rata Blanca. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of a band that is similar. Like the guitar player sounds like Ingve Malmsteen. Oh shit. You know, very inspired by you could tell. He even plays a strat similar to his. So it's like a guitar heavy. Yeah, yeah. Guitar. They're very like. <clears throat> they're very like an Iron Maiden style. Nice. Okay. You know, outfit out of. Uh, I don't know Argentina or something maybe. There's a lot of bands from Argentina. Yeah, seemingly, yeah. Yeah, so they were really cool. Uh, she 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 likes an artist named Fito Ifiti Paldis. Who? Fito Ifiti Paldis, which is like an, it's it's an artist. He does more like uh, rock tunes and just kind of like Fito that I know is Fito Paez. She likes him too. He's oh, really good. There's a different Fito. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, Spanish rock. It's really good stuff, man. Like you yeah, know, I've been learning about Spanish rock like lately because through her. Or the last three years, I shouldn't say lately, <laughs> but it's been three years learning about it. And and to be honest, man, I love the note choice. And the thing is, I can't understand it, but I know that they're talking about something really, really good and really <laughs> profound. I'm sure they are. You can just feel it. Well, know? I think I, I mean I, I don't re actually listen to a lot of Spanish rock, but um, like the what you asked me before, like what kind of Spanish rock I listened to was Molotov was like my first. She loved it. She went to their concert. Nice. Well, I haven't listened to them since they came out with an album in the '90s, you know, but like. <laughs> it was uh, they're very still vulgar, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, they're they're on they're on some crazy. Shit, yeah, they're old, but they, yeah, but their music is not, you know, it's not like what we we're talking about Metallica, you know, like they're yeah, their music is a lot more. I mean, it's not aggressive, it's like but borderline it's, punk ska, right? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, um, you anyway, they're they're great, they're great. I don't like, agree with their political messages, but their music is. I oh, can't boy, hear a guy. Yeah. What, are they, what are they talking about? Oh, they're a bunch of commies. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they talk about? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't okay, know if they're actually communists, but they're very anti-American. Like, at least they were in the 90s, so I, I would assume are they they're anti-American or anti-capitalism? Well, I, I think Probably that goes hand in hand. Right? You know? yeah. yeah, I think that goes hand in hand. Um, Interesting. But yeah, I'm I sure they're that. inherently anti-capitalist as well. Which, yeah. whatever. I, like, I, bro, I can listen to bands... Like, I don't like Rage Against the Machine now because of their political message, but it's because I don't, I think they got like two or three good songs, and that was that. You yeah, know, like yeah, my yeah. personal opinion. But um, <laughs> I, I'm for me, it's about the music, it's about like the content, the, well, the content and how it sounds, you know. But like, if it's got a particular message that I don't agree with, I'm like, well, I might not necessarily support the band as much as I would, but I'll still listen to it and I'll think that it's good or bad. I'm with you, you know? I'm with you. You know, I think of political bands, I think of, uh, you know, I, I like. Uh, Rage Against the Machine, not Rage Against the Machine. Sorry, System of a Down. Yeah, System of a Down too. I think about them, and it's like, uh, although they, they don't really like, people call them political. They don't even. All they say they're is not, just stop fighting. All that's all. They, that's all their yeah, message. Yeah, they're not very like. Oh, screw like the system. Fuck America. Or I mean, kind of, but. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, they're. I think they're very. They're more pro democracy. Yeah. More pro like, bro. Let's just yeah, like you said, stop fighting, bro. It's more like, like woke before woke. Yeah. You know, excuse me. I remember the whole steal the steal this album concept, and I thought that was really cool. 
I remember looking at her in the store and thinking like, what, what is it? And they made it look like a bootleg thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. Which they I thought was great marketing. Yeah, well, in the, that's nice. I think one of the things that they did is also like the whole anti-music industry kind of stuff. I mean, I don't have anything specific, but that's kind of like it feels like they were um, – they, they approached some of their stuff, you know, because um, – I don't have a reason why. That's just how I feel. <laughs> well, that is how that is that is how the. Well, where does Eros One fall in between all that, as far as political beliefs? We don't. We don't. Uh, we don't put our. We all have very like we all have different, you know, a political ideologies. I would say that I, I'm probably the most politically involved person. All right. Yeah. Because uh, right. uh, I, I come from Venezuela, you know. Which Bang Brothers just, filming next door. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a feature. <laughs> uh, I'm from Venezuela, so like I'm, you know, very just inherently politically charged, you know, yeah. and uh, obviously I'm very much anti-socialism and all that, you know. I think, um, you know. Sorry, love, we're recording at the moment. Hello, love, everything okay? Yes, yeah, okay. Bye. Sorry, you know, you know when, ladies, you, when you have a girlfriend, yes. Priorities. Uh, pro I'll drink yes. to that. Protect. Yes, yes, yes. We <laughs> must protect <laughs> at all costs. Um, but yeah, but we don't involve any politics in our music. We did have one song. Uh, uh, the silence Venezuela? brings us home. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The, the silence brings us home for off of our first EP, breaking out. Um, yes. And that was probably like the most politically charged song because it just. I mean, like the, I guess the core of it is just you know standing up against tyrants and all that stuff. Actually, we did have a song. My bad. We did have a song. I'm full of shit. Called our first song ever. Called Hitler's Reward. <laughs> um, long story short, his reward was death because he died. You know, and like it's in the lyrics. So don't think that That's I'm a good like, way to spin it. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to like hype up Hitler. You know, Hitler was more of like the name was more of a. It's supposed to. It's a symbol. Exactly. It's a symbol of like ty of tyranny and like yeah. all these people that do fucked up shit. So um, we, uh, you know, but that was our first song. It's actually. And uh, it's some type. It's like a demo in our first EP. If you buy the actual physical copy, you can hear that song. It's not finished. It's like a raw demo from years ago. I love that kind of um, stuff, man. So you know, I, I don't even know if we have any physical copies left. But if I do, I'll find one for you. You know, sure. da uh, Andy might have hooked me up with a physical Probably. copy. I hope. I, I hope so. And and and, and I do have it uh, oh, at, the, at, at the house because I do. Hey, nice, <laughs> man. Right on. That's it's like. Woo! Is it like the amount of beer that's in there that you know it just works, or how does it? Is it yeah, just yeah, the well, angle? Yeah, the less beer, the deeper it gets. So the mm. deeper, the, the longer the show goes, the deeper that's gonna get. Just like my voice, <laughs> Bruh. Nice. Yeah, for real, right? Can't you tell we're recording, Big Bros? This is Joe. Bang on wall. This is we're, this is the new Joe Rogan podcast. God damn it! We're 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 we're, we're, we're just Spotify sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? There's a hundred million dollars. Seriously, I've been thinking about sponsorships and the, co the, the the concept of sponsorships lately, and I realized, like, dude, you know what? Like, nobody, unless you have some inherent value, don't bother reaching out to people about sponsorships because, like, they're going to look at you like, what are you doing like, who for are us? you? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing for us? Like, who cares if you endorse our product or exactly. not? Who are you? Well, it's funny that you mentioned that because I was uh, just talking about that with the band. Um, you know, I was pushing them, like, guys, you know, like, like the strings, you know, guitars, bass, like, you guys need to work on trying to get some type of spot picks, whatever, right? Even if it's not like a sponsor, if it's just like some type of thing where like, like a they use a code, yeah, they use a code to get five percent, whatever, you know. Um, so I'm like, hey guys, you need to, and then one of my uh, Alex was like, hey, you know, we also have to like be able to like have an audience and like you know, so he's like, it does have a point, you know. But I think at least locally, you know, like locally in the metal scene, people know who we are. <laughs> Sorry, and uh, <laughs> beer, beer. <laughs> Uh, beer is good. Yingling black and, and tan. Oh Pretty yes, good. dude. I'm happy with shit. them. I'm happy with them. They're good. They're different. They're uh, they're obviously they're like a porter, Yingling. It doesn't it doesn't leave like cause I, like Yangling. I like I love Yinglings, but like the regular Yinglings usually leave like that bitterness, you know. Like afterwards, kind of like oh, I gotta drink some water just. So it like, is like a sultry. You know? Yeah, this yeah. doesn't. This is a lot smoother, like a lot softer. I'm it not is an expert on beer though. Me neither. You know, we had the beer podcast a while ago, and then I realized after a while I just don't care about talking about beer that much. Oh, I would rather just, I'd rather just drink them. Yeah, and yeah. just talk about them like Pokemon cards. I just loved have, getting different ones, and everybody For was sure. like, "Oh, I got this one. I got that one." That was the you fun want part. Trade? Yeah, literally, that was the fun part. Yeah, I like that yeah. aspect of it. It's just the 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 different brands. You know, I was listening to the radio earlier today. Do, do you see Eras One as ever being a band that would end up on the radio? Like, because I, I don't I, see I, why not. I mean, I think we have a couple of really commercial, like Shipwreck, like one of our first, uh, song from our first EP. I think is a very commercial song. Like, once you get past the screaming, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if like regular I think it's radio, radio playability, friendly. not like super radio friendly, like yeah. not like 
Like, you could play, like, if there was, like, a metal station, there's no metal stations down here, but if there's, like, a metal station in a city, like, yeah, you could play it. It's not like, there's not a bunch of, like, gore and, like, you know, cursing and none of that. Like, it's pretty clean, and the themes that it touches on are very, I th I feel like most of the, our th the themes that, that we touch on are just relevant to everybody. Like, it's not like, you know, we don't sing about, like, uh burning churches and like uh you know i don't know like we're 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 kind of like we're kind of like a party band you know we are we are a party band live we are definitely a live band so if you've seen okay. this if you have heard our music and you're like oh maybe that come to a live show and then you'll see what the hype is all about um Hell yeah. so you know uh, but going back to what i was saying which was uh bands radio being on the uh, radio at right. some point you know, I, I, when i listen to your music i i think it's very easily like able to be on the radio thank you you know it's got thank this you. really nice rhythmic vibe to it it's not like just riffs on riffs it's, yeah. it's, it's riffs but in a rhythmic sense for sure yeah i mean that we we strive to make our music something that people can move to and that is i'm quoting joe our drummer our amazing drummer yeah he's joe, gnarly at joe heavy hands hannah whatever <laughs> he yeah man he like he's always like look i don't care what you guys write but as long as it's something that we can the crowd can move to and i feel like that's what's really Maybe set us apart from some of the other bands down here. And I'm not saying that, obviously, I'm not saying that they're bad. We play with a lot of really awesome bands like Bormanith, you know, Macronium. Like, but they have different styles, you know? Like, I feel like Bormanith, for example, is more like death metal, more like, da 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 you know, like, fuck you. And like, and they're, awesome. and they're amazing. And when you watch yeah. them live, you're like, oh, yeah, you feel that energy. And if you haven't heard of their album, it's super dope. I forgot the name of the album, but just look them up, Born Beneath. Yeah. Um, and they actually recorded their album where we recorded our first EP as well. So that was oh, really sick. cool. Uh, we had a Arc, Arc Sound Studios. I don't even know if they're a thing anymore. <laughs> I, I hope they're. Well, uh, uh, you're opening up a hidden topic I didn't oh. know we were going to have. Is that, <laughs> you know, lately I've been on this uh, deleting spree on my Instagram, you know, because I realized like I follow maybe 3,000 plus people. Unnecessary. Yeah, you know, just because sometimes somebody likes your post and then you're just like, oh, follow. You know, you, yeah. just see, you just see the button there and you press it. Of course. But that you don't interact with those people ever. Exactly. I'm and glad. Well, Instagram has that option when you go to your followers, like least intro. Oh. I've been living in that in that little tab lately, you know. And yeah. here and here's the crazy, and here's the crazy thing, folks. Uh, I noticed that lately, guys. Um, and not to get too political on y'all, but <laughs> <laughs> dude, ever since the virus rolled in, recording drums next door. That that, that was a really nice. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. And for the people that can't hear the background noises that we're, you know, responding back to, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Inside jokes. At least we're having fun. <laughs> They're uh, not for you. <laughs> oh, right. I was totally in the middle of a topic. I'm so rude. Uh, I'm so rude to the guests. You've been talking about not the guests, the the cus the, the, the customers. The customers. You're not customers. <laughs> You're listeners. <laughs> <laughs> the beers did it. Blame the beers. Yeah, um, it's, it's these porters. Right, these porters, these porters. God damn it! Uh, it's the porter. What were we just talking we about talking two about, seconds ago? Uh, the virus. The virus. Ever since the virus rolled in, I've been on the deleting spree, and right, I noticed because right. uh, the way I delete people or not is I, I look at their most recent post, and if it's from more than a year ago or six months, yeah. I realize you're not using your profile anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And most people that I deleted, man. They all stopped using their Instagrams uh, right around Blackout Tuesday with some George George Floyd mess and uh, right around hmm. March 2020 when the virus rolled in. Why do you think that is? That's the thing. You know, I've been thinking about it and dude, it's the majority and I've, and I've deleted hundreds of people already. The, <laughs> the majority. That was amazing. Uh, the majority. It's dark in here. <laughs> Oh my god. I think it just might be <coughs> just Sorry. Might be your soul. Um It's amazing, right? What a what a what a, what a Tinder profile about me right there, like black like my soul. Black my black black like my soul. Don't do <laughs> Don't ask me for nothing. Don't ask, don't ask me about my name. If my name don't matter. Where I'm from don't matter. Where my accent from, it don't matter. <laughs> and I don't know where it's from anyway. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know where that is. What accent does that sound like? It channeled like some like North African like... I see it. it does sound like... It does sound like Sade. It's... <laughs> 
it is taboo. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, yeah, most people stopped using their Instagrams right around uh, Blackout Tuesday and right around when the virus rock and rolled in. That's so interesting to I, me. I wonder if maybe they like saw. Like, I mean, maybe a lot of people were making money off of that or like. Well, I think they got bummed out. Is, I think but I feel like they would post money. more. I would think so, but these were all people that were posting regularly. There hmm. were podcast pages. They were. Yeah, maybe just like just got hit like super hard psychologically. Like, oh man, nothing's ever gonna go back to normal. This and that. The media. And financially too. Like, I think a lot of people maybe thought like, oh, you know, like I think a lot of the people that that, that I'm talking about, they did some sort of live events, or they did some sort of right. uh, you know uh, personal trainer. Yeah, or they live, they live of off of that stuff. Of yeah. contact with people. <laughs> yeah, and dude, it was just amazing, and and it was sad actually. It was depressing thinking about it because I was like, wow, <clears throat> this affects this whole pandemic has affected so many people, creative people, because this yeah. is all through my you know the shut up a stock page. So it was mostly all creators. So many creators got affected through this whole thing. Yeah, everybody. I mean, even ourselves. I mean, well, I just showed you uh, earlier our, our video for negative space up on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever. Um, you know, we were like, well, we're sitting at home. Thankfully, my drummer lives across the street, you know, so oh, I'm like, so well, let's, and at the time, it. our guitar, I, I'm, I'm living with my, our old guitarist, he's not our, our guitarist anymore, Lou, uh, but he's my roommate, so we were like, okay, well, let's do something, so, like, I had a box from this computer that my bassist gave me, right, and we spray painted it black, and then we built a little stage out of it, we're like, well, why don't we do kind of like that Sum 41 video, Sick. and uh, we did uh, our negative space video uh, at home, you know, quarantine style, and like we, you know, all homemade, you know, shot it on our phones, edited it on a free program, on a free computer, and like, whatever, like, we're getting stuff done. Rock and, then, and roll. Right, and then after that, we just started working on the album, you know, it's like, okay, we gotta do, so we can't just sit around here and wait until the government tells me that I can go and do things, you know, I can't, I can't. You, you may know? now go back to recording music. Oh, Thank you, Eras, thank you. Eras one may resume uh, being a band. Thank you, your your, your highness. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> may we, may we, we have some more, please. Yeah, may we continue sucking your balls, sir? Uh, oh, uh, at your leisure. <laughs> actually, since uh, you <laughs> since you mentioned the balls, yes, don't don't neglect the balls, please. Yes. yes. <laughs> Eras one, yes, since uh, I love I <laughs> I like this initiative, Eras One. Oh, you were offering to suck the balls. Most bands won't offer, no. Most bands don't even think anything about anything for balls. a bag. <laughs> Any, anything to anything for a million streams on Spotify. I'll tell you, please, I need those five million dollars. Which dollars. equal which equal yeah. Yeah. Any, a million streams on Spotify Ooh. equals a fucking equals two items on the on a fucking what dollar a menu. What a jip! What a jip! Follow our Spotify. <laughs> yeah, please. Or, or but, buy uh, their physical buy their their album. Merch. If you go on, a, actually, you know what? You I, I messed up because uh, we don't have online merch. We haven't built an online store, so that's really my fault. But should, we do have. I should have actually, asked you before I said. Fuck. We have a uh, no, no. It's it's my fault, really, because I've been meaning to build that. We, well, I think you can buy our album through i mean you can buy the album through like itunes and Bandcamp and all that stuff does yours want to have a cash up yeah they're uh, gonna yeah it's uh, at red metal it's my cash app but you know just give me the money the i'll, I'll take care yeah, of it the band you know? fun. actually it is because funny enough i have a <laughs> cash app card hey! that i got and it's nice and bright and then this guy says Eras one. Oh, on you got the yellow? Yeah, How'd you get the... It doesn't have the number on it. How'd so. you get neon yellow? You know, I got, well, I got the black one. Well, they have that option. It's glow in the dark. What? Allegedly. I got, I got the black one. Well, this is cooler. That's, yeah, that, <laughs> it is way cooler, and I want that one. God damn it. Um, Jesus. So, yeah, you feel free to donate. You know, like, we always take donations. Um, do that. You know, we might even invest it into some type of cryptocurrency to make more money. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> Eras coin. Eras coin. You know, well, actually, that brings me to another topic, uh, NFTs. Oh, and and Eras Coin sounds like Eras One. Sorry. Actually, yeah, Eras Coin. Eras Coin. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I've looked Mola. into Eras Coin. No, sorry. Eras, whoa. Oof, oof, well, that's actually, that's spicy. Merch. So that's this is spicy. like the shirts that we have right now. Eras One. You know, we're coming out with new shirts. I got one for you in the car. I love that. Oh, no, you yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's extra oh. large because that's all we got left. But you hey, know, fucking amazing. You know, whatever. Um, so you know we do have those shirts, but we are coming obviously coming out with a whole new line of merch. I'm just gonna wear album. the shirt by by itself. No no <laughs> pants, no underwear. That's how you're gonna do the podcast so, from now on. <laughs> and just like a little hint of dick and balls, just right under. Right <laughs> 
Hey man, hey, you know, okay, a fan's okay. a fan. You I'm know? so sorry, guys. I, I'm so sorry to everybody listening to this episode. I haven't done a podcast in so long. I'm really just putting my balls literally on the wall and just mashing them against the glass. And I'm just drinking all of his beer. So drink them all, dude. Sorry. Did, 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 no, these are <laughs> tomorrow. Was it tomorrow is not for us, right? Tomorrow no, no. is not for us. Well, yeah. And these beers are for us today. Mm-hmm. Yes. Today's beers are for us. Enjoy- <laughs> yes. You know what I mean. Listen to that first ears one album. You know it always pops up in my shuffle. Oh really? That, that, that's awesome on Spotify. Mm-hmm. That's no. That's probably though. That's probably that one stream that I always see. It pop. <laughs> he didn't say that. When he says one, he means <laughs> one as in millions. We're like nine or ten. <laughs> it, it's cool, man. You know, like look, honestly, like I'm I'm super happy about like our success in the local scene. I never, never would have imagined bro. like. Anything I, w- I wouldn't imagine that I've been doing this seven years later, <laughs> you know. First of all, I would love to catch you, know? you guys live. I don't like, I, don't, I never right. get out of the house. When's the next uh, oh, well, yeah, you're, not you're when's asking, the next show, but like, where do you normally, before, but I don't know, where um, do you normally play? Like, well, you know, Churchill's obviously, um, right now, there's I've a never place, been to Churchill's, it's dope if you like, like, just don't don't take your best clothes over there. I was just about to say, I'm, I'm really afraid I'm gonna have to piss there, and that's oh, you don't can wanna... piss there, it's fine, just piss on the floor, I mean, on the toilet. Uh, no, they you know they they clean they revamped their their two other toilets uh, to two other Just bathrooms. Piss on everybody's feet. That's you know? fine. Everybody loves it, uh, bro. Sometimes you walk if if you're walking there at the end of the night, like you know, there's about a <laughs> half an inch of piss on the floor. But you know it's part of the experience. You know whatever. It's part of the vibe. It's yeah, part of the, uh, part of the stench. I love Churchill's, but they they're going through some legal shit right now. Um, I actually just got a contact at Las Rosas nearby. I love that, that area. place. Shout out it's to sick. Shout out to. Uh, Wow. Shout out to Lexi, the bartender. She's fucking awesome. Okay, dope. There you go. Well, yeah. we just, so I just went there yesterday, two days ago, Friday night. Um, so I finally got some contacts. I've been dying to play there because the stage is awesome. The sound is awesome. Like, the crowd is good. So And they got a Street uh, Fighter 2 arcade machine. They, and they got, like, fourth arcade machines. I thought, they, really? I thought they were broken. What else do they have? I don't know. I don't play. Maybe they added like more. That. I remember, yeah, I remember I went there for a like show. going towards the bag, like, to the outside. My buddies played a show there, and it was really nice, dude. The sound system in there yeah, sounds no, really it's good. Brand new, like, it seems like it's new speakers. Like, the sound guy does, like, a good job. Like, it's he did built a job. for that. Sounded nice you and know? crispy. I was I was loving yeah. it, man. So I'm excited. Here is one, dude. I'm excited. I just want to headbang and just want to do helicopters. And yeah, that's want... that's what we're all about, bro. Like, moshing and, like, you don't want to you could just send off to the side, like fuck yeah, Aaron Swan, and throw your panties on stage, you know, like I got panties uh, ready. You know, oh wow, well, you know, funny story, quick anecdote about that. Uh, Andy's our guitarist, Andy, Andy Alvarez, and Andificus Rex. He's been on a, a familiar face to set up this talk. Bit, He's yeah, been on yeah, the show before. Big gamer, you know, does game reviews. You should check him out. Actually, does some really good game reviews. Like he has some really good insight. I love reading uh, his reviews. You know, very good. I'm not a gamer or anything. Like I get play, you know, but like he, man, he just nails it right on the head. But. So we playing at Churchill's, and I, what I believe was, uh, I'm not even gonna say their name because fuck them. But it was like a sign, a, a, a release party, uh, not a release party, a signing party, a record label signing party, Revolution, uh, some other band, whatever. Um, they were getting signed to this record label, and like we were kind of like on the queue to get signed up. We're that gonna, call, up we're gonna call thing. the band the Dick and Balls. Well, you know, the bands were fine. It was the the, the, the people, the, the record label that were the fucking... The dick and balls. You know, the dick and balls, yeah. <laughs> uh, big old dick and balls. The gooch. Old cut the gooch. balls. <laughs> the gooch, yeah. The, the gooch man. The bridge to Terabithia. You know, I never read that book. Me neither. It was awesome. Me, I never... I, I always heard the same thing, and I, I just always imagined the gooch was that area. <laughs> The, the actual bridge. The Grooch. What? The Grooch. <laughs> the g- I we am are Grooch. I am Grooch. <laughs> we are Grooch. We are oh, we so are Gooch. Before I forget, basically <laughs> we're like we have at the end of the set we usually play the song Tomorrow's Not For Us and we bring people on stage for the last like headbanging like you know, come on everybody, whatever, get on here and headbang with us. And then I'll go on the floor and I'll watch it because I get off on that shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Like it's awesome. I'm just like, oh fuck yeah. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. And then like I, I saw this later on a video taken by Andy's girlfriend. Um this one girl who will remain nameless. Uh, was getting up on stage and then she hoisted herself up with Andy's penis. Um, <laughs> she just went right up there and grabbed it. Like, let me get on this bitch. <laughs> like, like, like getting on a ride in the Bro, ma- yeah, in magic, like she magic just kingdom. As a handle, it's like a fucking bar. Like, you're like, let me let just walk. <laughs> and I'm just like, bro. How did? How, why, 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 I would. That's amazing. I found out about it like the day after because she showed it to us. <laughs> his girlfriend showed it to That's us. That's amazing, like, dude. Like, welcome to the band, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's like, I could get used to this. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it has been somebody else, maybe. But oh god, it's yeah, okay, yeah, that's you true. Know, yeah, it's the part of the lifestyle, you know. Yeah. Part of the lifestyle. Yeah, this is it. Is, when you play the guitar, sometimes people just, you know, it's a magnetic effect on the wiener. You yeah, know? It hap- you know, it happens more with guitars and our drummer than me. Like, I don't get nothing. Well, it's harder to grab a wiener on a drummer because there's just so much you well, got to work no, through. But <laughs> <laughs> like people coming up to, like, us after the show. And like, you, yeah, well, you true. Know? Your wiener's ready to go. Yeah, I'm like, right there. I'm like, <laughs> Hello? Yeah. But I'd rather than not, you know, just at public service not announcement, please don't grab my junk while I'm on stage. Yeah. Or that, do, I don't care, whatever. Don't do it, yeah. <laughs> Just don't pull it, all right? Jeez. Right, show your intentions through the grab. Like, don't grab it too hard. Because then it's ripping disrespectful. It off. Yeah. Yeah, that's assault. disrespectful. You know, use like, uh, kind of like kind of like when, you, when you're trying to buy tomatoes at the grocery store. You guys, yeah, for, you oh, guys that's see. firm. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you guys see which one talks back to you. There's a... When this the, one has something weird on it. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, when the tomato talks back, that's when you know it's the one. You know, the, the, when it, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, when the tomato just gives in, no, oh, it's too easy. It's too. <laughs> that's the, gotta play a little hard to get. Gotta play a little. At least that's what they say. Yeah, keep it, keep it slightly firm. <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> what are we talking? About? Earlier today, I was listening to the radio and I realized, you know, I was looking for the rock radio station. First of all, I couldn't find it. Took me what for, rock took, radio station? Yeah, facts. Took me forever to find the rock radio station. <laughs> then I had to go to Google while I was at a red light, and I was like, rock stations, Miami. Uh, and they're finding 105.9, maybe? <laughs> Classic rock. Yo, yeah. oh my god, I went to, and the first thing I hear is a fucking Chili's commercial. What I like is what I like about you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> what type of TGIF Friday commercial <laughs> shit? And I'm like, this is, this is, this is what rock radio has been reduced to. These well, fucking down here, yeah. songs, dude, like. <laughs> uh, I remember even like when 93.9 Zeta was around or 94.9 Zeta was around then they did the 93 rock it was 93.1 one. and then I I don't know 93 nine, I don't remember anymore it was was, uh, yeah. such a long time they ago. called they themselves old. the new rock station for like two years <laughs> I'm like you're two the years old. Rock station in Miami. Yeah, they like, were new for so long that they like they were gone and they were still like we're the new. <laughs> <rock station." laughs> they were literally dude. Yeah. Like I'm not even kidding, dude. One day, uh, one day I just turned on the radio and it became a reggaeton station. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it'd be like that. It we really was like that. I'm just like, well, overnight they didn't say right. they didn't even yeah. say we're, we're we're you know see you later. They, I mean, they probably literally just came in that day and they're like, you guys are done. And yeah. Then, new station. Okay, that's it. The, the next fu- dude, I turned on the radio the next day. Dame lo patra, dame lo patra. It was it was fucking pitbull. Yeah, it was it was it was Mr. Worldwide. Betty <laughs> Rosa. I don't miss that at all. (laughs) It was, it was that, it was Dale Huevo, dude. Dale Huevo, Dale Huevo. And only, you know, and only, only in (laughs) Miami can people complain about a song like WAP, right? But then have, you know, when we were young. Gasolina. Listen, we were growing up, we were 11 years old on the school bus on the way home screaming Dale Huevo. (laughs) It'd be like that. That's it was Miami. the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we have people trying to complain about, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the latest. Where does Eras One find itself in the content? Is, is there ever going to be a parental advisory sticker on an Eras One album, or, or, or? Because what I notice, I don't hear any cursing in the lyrics. No, I don't curse. Yeah. Because I don't find like. You don't need look, to, right? Bro, I, like I'm a, I, I say I'm a writer. Right? I'm not a, technically. I guess I'm not a writer because I haven't published anything aside from sure. lyrics, you know. But like I went to school for English literature. I've always I love to write ever since fucking forever. Um, so for me as a writer. When I hear like when I hear a song that uses the N word or like uh, whatever, never heard of it. No, I'm good. Just to like at the end, like just to rhyme, and I'm just like, if you're looking, just don't rhyme. Just leave it without it. Leave an empty like whatever. Like don't. I I don't like adding unnecessary stuff because I put every like every word that I use is carefully carefully picked. Most of them, uh, you know, to portray whatever it is that I'm trying to say. And a lot of people, I feel not a lot of people. I hate saying this because it makes me sound pretentious. But I don't think I'm pretentious. I just feel like I write a certain way, and I think if you look you got at an it, opinion, you, it, it, hell you yeah. know, you will understand what I'm saying. But that's why I'm doing the comics, so that people will be like, okay, well, I don't understand what's going on with the song, but oh, I see what's going on. We here. haven't dove into this yet. The new concept for oh. the Eras One album is this, is this, is a cyberpunk. It's like a cy- it's like a cyber cyber future wave aesthetic, right? More than anything, like the sound itself, I did model it after like. I try. I tried to get the band to write something that was more along the lines of like a 
electronic type sound even though it's not it's not it's heavy it's brutal it's badass but there are some sounds in there that kind of give it like the slight futuristic thing you know obviously we added some intros and stuff like that and transitions so that like you can actually listen to the album like like dark side of the moon where you can listen to the album in one sitting and not realize that like oh shit like okay new song what i got it but like you didn't realize the transition type of thing so yeah, it is a, a it is a futuristic. So the the concept is that there's it's future Miami. It's the years twenty one twenty two, I believe, or twenty one twenty or twenty two twenty one. Sorry, <laughs> twenty two twenty one, two hundred years in the future. Two, 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 one. And the main character's name's Otto. Um, he has his his best friend uh, Bronx Tony, who's not from the Bronx, but he thinks he's from the Bronx. So he wears like you know he's got the Yankees cap, you know, the uh, flat fucking flat brim, and like he's got <laughs> the big brow, like the big beige. Winter jackets, the puffy and the, jacket. you know, yeah, yeah, and like the the what are they called? The, Tim's. the, the Timberlands, you know. He said, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying, my guy, whatever, dead ass this, dead, dead ass that, that, you know. So, but he's from Miami, right? So that's, well, that's like that's like a whole <laughs> joke in itself, right? Um, he wants to be from up north. Yeah, like he thinks he's from New York, and uh, I slightly, it's it's kind of funny because Andy, our guitarist, his I think his dad is from New York. He's lived in New York, whatever. And so he sometimes when Andy talks, like he'll be he'll, he'll yeah man, I, I don't think I just need a coffee. Nah. And I'm just like Andy, bro. <laughs> so I kind of like New Yorkers are a different. special breed. They definitely are. They are. That's a whole. That's a whole world. But New York could be its own fucking country. New it York could. City. It could be its own yeah. anime. Yeah. <laughs> it really In could. A world. Be. <laughs> like you two people bump into each other and it's like, <laughs> hey, you know? I'm yeah. walking here. <laughs> Watch where you fucking go with. Yeah. And that's it. They just keep walking. Yeah, and then that's, just, the whole show, that's the whole episode. The whole episode the, is like a slow mo. The clomping of, of, of Timberland shoes, Timberland shoes all day. Uh, clomp, 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 clomp. <laughs> New York. I love it. I love New York City. I went there for two days and I was like, oh my god. I heard the food is just. Mm. Well, I don't know yeah, much the about the so food because I just ate pizza and like you know basic hot dogs, like street hot dogs, like the basic stuff, you know. I heard the the Chinese food is really something else have, over there. You know, I did, I went to Chinatown for like like we walked through Whoa, it kind of, but I, I didn't it. eat anything. You we went anything to cool? Italy. We went to a restaurant in a little Italy. It was like, literally, yeah, literally, we literally <laughs> went to literally. <laughs> <laughs> and I had some pasta. <laughs> you know? It was lit. It was great. I'm, not, I'm actually part Italian, so oh. it's good to reconnect with my roots. Not, what's your favorite Italian dish? What's the best one? I don't know. There, I don't know. I like. I love pasta, bro. <laughs> like I, I know pasta is like Chinese technically, but like is it? Yeah, the uh, the Marco Polo, bro. I think Based brought it on from noodles? China. Oh. Yeah. Um, That's cool. Originally, obviously, spaghetti, whatever. It's different, you know, but. Um, yeah, no, I, cool I don't necessarily, I, you know, I don't even know if I have a favorite dish in general. I love burgers. I love like standard food. Um, you know, I just love, love, love food, food, right? Bro, yeah, clearly. yeah, same here, same here, um, dude. We just so, had a barbecue yesterday. Oh, nice. Where? At? Yeah, here at my house. Oh, shit. Okay, doing at the house later on the What'd night. You make? We made. Uh, I had a buddy of mine make his burgers. I made my burgers because you know. He said he was good at grilling, so I said, "All right, Ooh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna trust you, so I'm gonna get mine." <laughs> Cut half the beef when I said you're making this half. I'm making this half. See what's better. Excuse me. Or see what it is. And uh, came out well. He made his burgers nice and fat. Nice. I, I love flattened mine a bit. Yeah, I flattened mine a bit, and then I added chopped tomatoes in mine. Okay. And I actually, I actually put ketchup and mustard in the the meat before. Why I'm making the patties? Does that make it like more moist? It has more. It adds more salt and sugar to it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, my love. Come on in. That's okay. It's okay. We're live. We're live. There's no... We're, yeah, we're, we're, no, we're not literally live. We're recording, but we're not... Uh... Oh, so you guys can edit. Yes, Hi. yes. Yeah. Come on in. This is my lovely girlfriend, Claudia. Claudia Hi, Claudia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, good. I'm great. Grab the seat. Fantastic. I was like, talking around. Would you like... <laughs> oh, no. Why? How? Oh, don't like... Oh, did you put pound after? No. Sorry. Well, I put pound at the real life. It's, I almost it's 37 and 55 pound. I should have put the pound. Sorry. Oh. Here's your beer, love, if you'd like. Cervezas. Feel free. Oh, thank you, yeah. Well, what? <laughs> Rafael, thank you for being a part of the first episode in the new studio. Dude. Yeah, man. No, no, it, dude. I told you it's great. I love it. I love the light. Thanks. I love the only fan setup. You know. Yes. Like, I love like the little the little trinket. The fuck yeah over there. You got you know local Miami here, whatever. Try. I feel like you should try to. You can I mean, sit I right there. Know. You could try to maybe like put this like in the background or something. Okay, okay. Sorry, what? I feel like you can maybe like even push this up and like kind of like put this like on the side or something. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't I'm know. gonna like, figure. Put it in display. Like I feel like you can put. To be honest, I'm actually borrowing this table from uh, these other uh, 
the J Squared podcast, oh. who record here as well. These buddies of mine that started a podcast, and we cool. just decided to just work together and make this little studio. That's what's up. Hey, man, you know. You got to make with what you got. Bro, you we know? repainted these walls. You know, we oh, they actually, let you paint them? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I asked them, you know, I, like, I, really, I asked them, if you want another beer, man, help yourself, bro, for sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> this is, I actually have more than these three, just FYI, guys. Hey, fuck it. I mean, you know, we're, we're having a good time. We it, are it, Aries Wine. We drink too much. I love it. I mean, to be honest, we haven't, you know, uh, Claudia loves live performances. The lovely Claudia just showed up, so and now we, we haven't just, seen our band yet. And we haven't, you know, and then we would love to. Everywhere. They were not right now because COVID in my back. I had spine surgery a couple months ago. Spinal surgery, man. How did that feel, dude? Like, how much medication were you on? Well, you know, I went went to the. I mean, I can tell you this whole story if you want. So please do. All right. So sit back. Um, So I was. uh, I turned 30 years old on January 3rd. And uh, woo! I and, turned 30 um, in November, so yeah, I'm with yeah. you. I'm with you. You know, it's the 30 club, bro. We all in it. Uh, and so, uh, Jen, right, it's my birthday, whatever. And like five days later, it's my best friend's birthday. My best friend Danny since I was in middle school. So I'm like, all right, I'm getting ready to go down to see him, whatever. I'm like, just sitting there watching TV. I'm getting ready. I got my pants on, whatever. I'm just kind of waiting, you know, uh, for the right time. So I'm not there too early. And then I start coughing. And then... Uh, like my back just which has happened before because I have had these back problems for like I said for over 10 years so whatever I'm like oh god I'm like stuck on the chair whatever a lot you know then the, a month goes by I'm like in bed I'm trying to like recover you know um and we play a show for I don't know if you've ever met maybe not Terry the um, Sweeney's Terry McSweeney I don't, I've never um, met them but I heard uh, wonderful I heard... people the best type of people they are the best they're like the definition of like a real American family. They bro. seem so goddamn nice. They're so humble. They're hardworking. Like they help others, you know, even like during like their shit times when unfortunately Terry had a, I think she had a type of brain cancer, you know, and like, all right, you know, Terry. you know, rest in peace, man. She was like, she, man, they, they actually, they, um, they were the ones who gave us like, man, Clink. I'll drink to her any day. Clink. I heard Mike on JC's show, and I just thought he was such a sweetheart. And, uh, and I imagine, guy. like, his wife has got to be just twice she the sweetheart. Man, just so, there's just so much, like, love just coming, like, naturally, you know? They're yeah. just, you can tell they're just good people. Um, and anyway, so we played the show for her, um, uh, what would you call it? Like, a celebration of life, right? Mm-hmm. And my leg was, I was messed up. Like, I had, um, like, I had gotten better, but, like, so, like, my back was feeling better, but I still had a sciatica pain, you know, from my nerve all the way from my back all the way down to my feet. But whatever, man, you know, I'm a fucking metal band. I don't give a fuck. We played the show. A few days later, I started feeling worse. And then a week later, I was in bed, like, crying like I could not. Like, I was in so much pain. Like, I was stuck because I couldn't make certain movements. I had to order food and, like, like get up in advance so that I can make sure that I'm up so I can go get the food at my door. You know, it was really bad. So, luckily, my roommate was able to help me, help me with certain things, you know. And um, Your roommate's Lou? Lou, yeah. And uh, our original guitarist. I met Lou before. He's a yeah, cool guy. Cool dude, yeah. Cool Beer drinker, skateboarder, you know, just overall big Tony mechanic, Hawk fan. you know, big. Also, same here. Uh, but he's way better. I mean, uh, <laughs> than me. That means and, we uh, gotta play. It's it's a cool, dope game, bro. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, I know it's a long story, but basically after that, like, I was feeling like really shitty. It got to the point where I actually had to call Lucha because he was working remote. Like he was working like working mobily, mobile, like on a truck. So he was able to pick me up to go to the hospital. But as soon as I got in his car. My blood, like two minutes later, we're going up the street, and then my f- my toes started like it felt like it was on fire. It was like burning, and I felt something similar to that before. But I was like, ah, whatever. When literally it just kept spreading all the way up to my like all the way up my leg, uh. and the pain was so bad. Like I was like, I felt like like you know the Looney Tunes thing at the end. Da, 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 that's like a circle. So I'm just like, it's like my vicious like, and I'm like Lucha, bro. I'm gonna pass out, bro. You gotta stop the car. <laughs> So I started yagging on the street. I stopped the car. I opened the door. I was just throwing up water, you know, on the street. I look at the people behind me. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't. Dude. I was in so much pain. I threw myself on the sidewalk. And I was like, all right, Lucha, you're going to have to call a hospital, bro. Like, a call an ambulance. But, you know, it's screaming because I was in so much. Like, I've been, I've had kidney stones, bro. I've been in pain before. Like, I've had kidney wow. stones multiple times. I've had wow. surgery for my kidney stones. Like, this shit was no joke, bro. It was so painful. <laughs> like, it was so painful that I'll pay the $2,000 for the ambulance, bro. I don't give a fuck. Ambulance! Give me the ambulance! Um, so... 
That sounds that sounds wild. Well, that's what the picture on, on Instagram. Where you're that's on the floor. Me. Yeah, that's me literally in the worst pain of my entire life. In your so pajamas. I'm like lucha, I'm like lucha, bro. <laughs> I'm like hanging out to this from like lucha, bro. You had to get picture for the memes, man. <laughs> And the picture, yo, know, when they, when they, the Dragon Ball Z one. <laughs> that's it. That's how my oh lucha, but my that, that was in so much pain, fucking bro. Fucking God, bro. So, you know, they took me to the hospital, and then, like, I was there for, I got there on Thursday, but I couldn't have surgery until Monday. So, or I got there on Wednesday, I don't know. So, I wasn't there, you know, they were giving me pill, obviously, like, and actually, when I was there, there was a point where, like, I was in between, like, pain medication, and my, like, same thing, it started catching on fire. It was, it felt, dude, like my ankle, like my shin were, like, gonna explode. Like, it felt like they were just being crushed by something, but at the same time, they were, like, being blown up. Ouch. It was the worst. And I'm like, oh, my God, bro, please, someone, we can't give you anything because you're in between, like, doses. So, I got through it through, you know, mental strength. I had to call my mom. <laughs> you know, like, mom, mom, you got to talk you through this, but I can't. I'm um, thankful that, you know, like our parents were dope because, you know, you can't have fucking visitors because of COVID. Because the fucking, so, you know, yeah. even though I had friends trying to come up, like they brought me clothes, you know, they brought me food. Like it was cool, man. I'm thankful. That's cheers to Lucha. Te- cheers to my best friend, Danny. And cheers, cheers to, to my whole band, you know, everybody looking up, bro. I, I felt so good. Like, I know that it was a really terrible thing. And I still got some slight PTSD to that because I'll think Ooh. about it and then I'll just get like, I'll, I'll have to like, I have to stand up from my bed and like just go outside or something because it's really bad. Um, but sometimes, uh, not sometimes when I was in the hospital, I was getting so many messages from so many people, dude, including me, else, including yourself, thankfully, <laughs> right? Like, and you know, it just feels nice because you got like all these people, like maybe you don't know them, you know, like you don't personally know them, but you know, like they're around they're in the scene, uh, family members, obviously just friends from the past, everybody. And I'm just like, man, that feels really nice, <laughs> yeah. you know, because I feel like I've been good to people, you know, like, uh, it's just nice that like. It, it was very, it was incredibly comforting. So thank you and thank all these people that hit me up, man. That was like really, like it would, it made all the difference. Cause I was in the hospital for a fucking week, man. I never been in the hospital for that long. You know how much that bill was? Oh God. I'll, get, get, I'll take, give you, I'll give you two guesses. Give it to us. It's a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> but because of my financial, uh, Situation. Thankfully, the well hospital that I'm that I went to, um, they have a program for people that need financial assistance. They cover the whole thing. Sick. So all I have to pay is for the ambulance. The ambulance. Woo. Okay. Know, so shout that. out to them. I'm not gonna. I don't want to get in no trouble. Or I'm not gonna say what hospital it was, but uh, well, plug your plug your plug well. your cash app. Maybe Yo, hey, yeah, man, cash app re- red metal again. You know. Uh, Send me some bread. I mean, I'll, honestly, I'm not even going to use it for myself. I'm going to use it for the band, so. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's all. It's, it's all, all for a good use. We're not going to so. spend it on, you know, you're not going to spend it not on. Not more beer, for sure. Yeah. Def- definitely not more beer. <laughs> Maybe some new sunglasses. I don't know how that. long we've been recording for. I haven't even been for keeping time. It probably has been a while. Like, I don't want to stop it at all, but I'm like, it, it feels like it's been an hour. Yeah, does it, it doesn't have, like, a timer running over there. Can you check, love? It should say the little timer right next to the record button on the bottom right. Excuse me. 40? 48. Cool. Right. I'm going to pee then. Go. Because that, so while I, while I go urinate. <laughs> Relieve yourself. Please tell, you know, please tell the audience about Eras 1. And, and, yeah, and, man. And, and, and what they do and what the sound is and, and what, what you guys have put out so far. And then uh, hopefully by the time I'll be back. I'll already. plug the whole shebang. Please do. So uh, I'll wait for you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just across the screen there. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, so we are Eras One. And <laughs> uh, like I said, we are a metal band from uh, South Florida, uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. You know, we've been around for seven years and uh, we are a live band. We are, uh, well, we do have a lot of recordings. Not a lot of We have a few recordings, you know. Uh, we have our first EP breaking out, which you can catch literally anywhere online. You just look us up. You'll find that it's four songs. They're not mastered. They're actually they're mixed, but they're not mastered. You know, we didn't have the money at the time, so our first release. Hope you like it. I, my favorite song from there is Shipwrecked. Uh, I think it's super dope, super commercial, uh, super hype. Then we came out with a um, with a single called uh, The Passage, which I thought was super dope. We recorded that at Dogmatic Studios in Pompano. Pompano, I think. And uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, shout out to them. They were really awesome. If you get a chance, if you need a studio, like, man, they are 
top notch honestly super good people they, they'll work with you however you will like and super dope vibes too so shout out to dogmatic uh studios uh after that that was the only really like the more legit release that we had uh, after that we released the something through um some local friends from revolution the band revolution um uh, they recorded an EP for locals, for local metal bands that um, I guess never got fully released, but we released our song because we thought it was awesome. So shout out to them. They really hooked us up. It was really nice of them. And then we recorded a video for that at home during quarantine. So check that out on YouTube. Um, very homemade, very much done on my phone and on a free <laughs> video editing program. But, you know, you got to deal with what you got, right? Especially during COVID because ain't nobody doing anything through then. Um and so right now we're working on a, we're almost done with our new album called Digital Neon, um, including which includes a song Digital Neon, which will be the first release from the album. Um, it is a future. It's a set in futuristic Miami, a couple hundred years in the future. Uh, the main character loses his job, and uh, you know uh, at the time, like in the future, apparently there is in this story there is some type of universal income. So him and his uh, best friend. Bronx Tony, which I think I talked about earlier, he's not from the Bronx. He's from Miami, but he thinks he's from New York. Um, <laughs> they start partying every day. They're partying, partying every day. They, you know, because that's what you do in Miami. You party, but they're partying in like the old part of Miami, which right where is what modern day South Beach would be. So, um, you know, they get into all sorts of uh, shenanigans and buying all sorts of illicit substances, which leads to uh, the main character Otto going through a very trippy adventure. Um, you know, and that's really like the main premise of the story. You know, you'd have to like listen to the whole album to really to and and read the comics so that you can see what it's all about. And perfect timing. I think it's extremely exciting that you guys are doing a comic book. That's a that's a, a new album concept because, like, I remember one of my favorite experiences ever was uh, Metal Gear. I'm not a big Metal Gear Solid guy, but my brother got me the digital graphic novel. Oh, cool! And it was on the PSP. And I remember popping this thing in, and it was a graphic novel that just moved, and it had voices, and it nice. had sound effects, and you really got to live this comic book experience. So I love the fact that you guys are doing a music thing to it. My favorite guitar player, Joe Satriani, actually just released uh, a comic book as well. Oh, shit. Uh, to go along with some of his music and just kind of a fun concept that they wanted to get right. him into. So just some really, I, I think it's a really, really, really cool concept. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I think right now, like, Bands generally, you know, they release music. They release music, they play shows. They release music videos, they play shows, whatever. Like, I feel like, especially now as a local band, if you're trying to make it uh, anywhere, you really want to have a more solid product. You know, you want to have something that just, like, kind of covers a lot of different ground because I feel like I have, like, a cool, kind of a cool story to tell. It's not like anything new, you know, but it's just my way of telling a certain story. And, like, um, I feel like maybe people through the lyrics might not necessarily like be as involved. Like they might, they'll probably di they'll dig the music for sure. They'll be like, yeah, I feel it. And they'll probably feel what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's better to have something you can actually see and you know, something you can take home because it's, a, it's the same concept as, as having an album. You know, like when you release stuff digitally, like, yeah, it's cool. You got it. But like it's, you hold, when you're holding it, like, no, you can't replace that in my no, opinion, you know? No. And that's why like people do their vinyls. And that's why people still do hard copies, you know, of their CDs. Um, or singles or whatever. So if we're gonna do that, I'd rather just sell. I'd rather just have something else to give the the the, the audience than just okay. Here's our music. I don't know. Well, you know my buddy, yeah. my buddy John, who's in a band called Abiotic. Mm. They just um, you know. I know Abiotic. Oh, do you? That's awesome. Yeah, I think they're a very, pretty big band. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Big and Florida band, big South Florida band. Fuck yeah! yeah. And I, 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 that's my buddy John. That's my, that's my. It's my my love, mm -hmm. uh, and um, shout out, and that, yeah, and uh, they just released their comeback album, and it did extremely well. Cool, and they actually did a lot of uh, through their new record label, the Artisan Era. They were able to uh, release special edition vinyls, you know, nice. like like they released like a blood spatter vinyl that looked like just like a like a just yeah like because they're the theme of their album was like a samurai theme okay so like the, cool. they, they released like a blood spatter album that just like the vinyl itself looked like there was blood spilled all over That's it that just looked it. amazing and, yeah and 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 my point in bringing it up is the fact that the fans really appreciated it and the fans really loved it and it was their comeback album and 
the fact that they had something you know physical to offer the right. people they really liked it for sure you mentioned nfts a second ago right oh yeah so i mean i've just started looking into this because some guy on facebook hit me up he's like hey you should look into this I saw a video and i started reading more about it i'm still doing the research but it's seen and i think kings of leon was like a big example that they released like a single or an album as an nft so what i believe and if, for those of you who don't know nft stands for non-fungible token so it's yeah. like it's its own unique piece of whatever is contained within it right so mm. i f i mean again i don't think i understand it fully but i feel like you could release let's say the album then you make a hundred different tokens you know and those are and the, the difference is that you're not selling them you're essentially kind of putting them off for auction like people will pay whatever they feel it's worth and then they can trade it for how you know and then I, th I think they get royalties from those trades as well so it's different than releasing albums like physically but like it's a, I don't know, it's like a new... It's like new turning music. music into cryptocurrency. Yeah, well, it's that's literally that. And then, you know, you, you also, I guess you have the music, you can also put your album, you maybe a comic, whatever, like, and then you get all these things in the one NFT, and you just say there's 100 of them, or there's 50 of them to make them, like, super unique, and that's what I guess would make them, would drive the value up if people were really about it. But I also think that you can stream your music while people own the NFTs. So it's, I think it's there's something weird. It's, it's, some, it's interesting because I guess you own the... The rights to that thing you own like that that piece of that music, product right whatever but the streaming aspect of it i guess i don't know it's different it's super complicated dude i don't know i don't get it either it's can, really interesting can i can i make a weird random idea for ears one in the future always so there's this thing called uh video no rpg maker okay or video game maker it's like a program or it's like a program or you like something make yourselves into video game characters well that and you can make your own video game that's dope you make your own side scroller and you can make your own characters you just import you can make a character in photoshop through, right, right. you, you know import them in. pixel art import them in uh, make animations for them and then you can set them in this world and a lot of people have been using it to make their own games i would love that's cool i mean next, we could actually make a sto like a game out next, of that story the too. next ears one album Maybe. You, every Maybe. song gets you know, every, you unlock the songs through this game. Oh, where you get to song, you get from song one dope. to one to twelve or whatever. How many songs right. are going to be on there? And then maybe you go to like a different city or you go to a different thing, and you could just kind of walk. It's That's really it's cool. Borderline point and click, but more like you unlock the album through this experience. And maybe yeah. you, maybe you unlock it at a maybe different people unlock different songs at different sequences. You know, right, so maybe right, right. for them the album is one three five exactly. instead of one two three. Dude, that's really cool. And you know, it's funny because there's a couple of songs that also blend really well into each other, and they're like on they're like on different ends of the album, I guess. Yeah, so like, that's really cool. Andy would probably like have like a lot of fun with that. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm really sure his mind would with explode that, with that know? idea. But that's really cool. Some just afterwards, fun. give me like the link and shit so I can. Yeah, the program. The program it. right now, you know, I, I and I'm sure using it is the hard part. But like the program itself, I know it was on sale for seventy bucks. Which, okay. You know, it's to make your own video game. That's kind of amazing. It's, it's, it's yeah. An investment. To, to give you the power yeah. to make your own fucking yeah, title. Your own game. That's awesome. Yeah. That's super like, sick. That's like unlimited. So I thought there's not like a flash game or anything. Well, obviously, there's no flash game. Oh, uh, it's it's in that style, but like it's more so like Steam indie okay. indie game side scroller cool. fighter fighting game like you can do a bunch of different it's very there. dope i already have so many ideas yeah, already it's I'm so, so cool <laughs> and, and just cause it reminds me of new grounds back in the day yeah 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 and i and i just imagine like dude if like if a band could do could have done a new new grounds flash game where you go to different cities and, or you go to a different thing and then you like talk oh, wow. to a certain yeah. person that will unlock that song that's for very you. dope or just something, man. Yeah, I don't no, know. just something. Whatever along those lines of it, that's very cool. That's very like cool. if there's I a song about wastelands, like you have to walk to the wasteland area. Right, right. Like well, we have a song called it. Catacombs, so you know you like. Yeah, it's like, you that's know, that's like where he. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to give away too much of the story. But, yeah, or like yeah. you know, and then even with the world of VR and with the world of 3D, uh, like art right now, you know, like it just it, it amazes me like what bands could do. Like if there was a band exactly. that could work with a VR project, and have you walk through this project and, and and maybe like grab a thing and maybe put the record in and yeah 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 like it. you have to just find the fucking album that Whatever. you like know something simple like that or like. you collect the gems and each gem is a song i don't know man just something <laughs> so dope. fun no, and no, different that's really that's really cool i love that i love that I it's love just that. i would love to experience that as, as a consumer right well and again that, that just plays into the whole thing that we're trying to do is bands can't just keep coming out with just music like that's just not the world we well, live in anymore you have a blockbuster you know? uh, hat on so clearly, you know, that, 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 that should give us an idea as to what your interests are in, in the people. 
Like you're interested in people being able to experience your content like what we did at Blockbuster. Right. You, know? when you go in and you like, but I still remember the with the ace like the smell of like they all oh. smell the same. Mm. And I think that's a, like a I think there's a business that like you do that and, like you create a smell for business. Anyway, but every even in Venezuela it smelled the same, bro. It yeah. smelled the same. I'm just like. You went to Ven you went to Blockbuster in Venezuela. Yeah, we had block. Look, Venezuela is a very uh, advanced country. Okay, until socialism took over. Oh well. But anyway, we'll keep the politics away, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, it's all of that, all the nonsense. It is a dictatorship. It really is. Yeah, but they just yeah, they say it's socialism because it's bo it's bullshit. That's it's easy, that that's the word they use instead of calling it a yeah, dictatorship. Instead of, yeah, guess. it's democratic social or whatever. I don't know. It's all bullshit. But you know, it used to be a very wealthy country. We had all the things, dude. We had we had all the things. And uh, my buddy is from yeah. Venezuela, and he grew up with a lot of the same video games and stuff. Like he, you know, he, he's a <laughs> he's a geek with the rest of us like these days, you know. But like you know, he grew up. He spent a lot of his time in Venezuela, but he still knows. So uh, it, yeah, people. It, I mean, dude. Yeah, I mean, like it's not like it was like commonplace, but like I had an N sixty four, you know. Like, well, it reminds me of Pakistan. I, I went to Pakistan in two thousand and one, which is a long time ago. Yeah, and I remember <laughs> I went there, and I remember you know going to like the they had a certain street that has a lot of the electronics, and I remember going there and seeing Xbox, and well, not Xbox at that time because that was still pretty early. Like a PS one. Yeah, whatever, yeah, like, those kind of things. You know what I mean? Like just like the, the latest GameCube. technology. Yeah, yeah, the latest tech. Yeah, I mean, it, it, people get them. Like the only issue is like when you get to customs and stuff like that. Dude, like, I like, remember a guy walking up to me like, "Do you play Tekken 3? I'm like, "No, no, no. Do you play Tekken 3? <laughs> what do you mean? Do I? And you know what? I'm American. <laughs> And you know what's the craziest thing now? The latest Tekken <laughs> champion from Tekken 6 is from Pakistan. That's funny. And because they actually have a crazy Tekken community there. That's dope. Like some of the best players in the world are from Pakistan, which yeah. I have no clue. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. It's, it's a weird. I just found that out recently through this little documentary that's series. That's cool. Man, we've been talking for so long. You know, this is how you could tell we've been wanting to be on a show together for too long because like an hour just zooms on. I mean, by. dude, I'll talk about anything, bro, forever. I love it, man. <laughs> you know? This is one of the most fun episodes I've done in a while. Awesome. We're, we're, we're finally in the Woo! new. We're finally in the new studio. Finally doing something fun and something different. So you know, I appreciate. You know, I appreciate you, Rafael, for it being. It was my pleasure, man. Thank you for episode. having me. Thank you for being on, man. Course, Thank bro. you for having these fucking beers with us. Yeah, those yeah. Zebruskis. Like three plus like two more that I had before. <laughs> You know, so we've definitely been rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, I appreciate it tonight, man. I, I, we we could keep talking, but I should keep it short. Yeah, no, I mean the people can't listen to me for so long either. Yes, we should. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but to be honest, you're one of the most fun guests. I love hearing you on JC show. You, I think you're, you've been you've done three episodes. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like four or five. Three or four know. through time. It's always a good yeah, time. I think I like his second it. episode. Like I think he did his hundredth episode. Like, it, it, they they, they make me laugh out loud every single time. So it's a pleasure to have you Thank on you, here. Thank I'm you. excited to do another episode soon. I'm yeah, excited man, to make I hope some you keep content. It going. I'm excited to keep uh, make some content with you guys. Yeah, we'll make work some... together. Bro. I'm so, I'm, dude, trust me, bro. We're, We're gonna I'm, make like, a we got music the ball video. Rolling. So look out for my fucking art. I mean, our album, not my album, our album, Digital Neon, in a couple months. Hey man, Digital Neon Eras One. Uh, we got Danny here. Uh, feel free to hit up the rest of the band. We got Andy. We got uh, Joseph. Andy, we got Joe, Lou. Lucha. Lou's actually not the guitarist. So Sorry, Alex. Lou is in Lucha. Sorry. Yeah, L Alex is uh, Alex Moreno from Unoya. He's our new guitarist. I mean, Sweet. I made that announcement a couple months ago, but yeah, hey. he's our new guitarist, and you'll hear a lot of his vocals in the album. Yeah, hey, he has awesome. really crazy guitarals, but he also sings so beautifully, bro. It's I'm excited, man. And, you know, I love that you guys keep the South Florida scene alive. We try to. I, I'm excited to see you guys live. Thank I really, you. really, really want to see you guys live. I want to do helicopters. I want my neck to hurt the next yeah, day. Yeah, me too. And I just want to have beers and burgers and just all that good stuff. And just, yeah, man, that just sounds like the best time ever. So burgers. in the meantime, folks, uh, shut up. Let's talk. I don't know what episode this is going to be, what episode this is, but it's a new episode. It's in the new spot. Thank you for being here. And uh, in the meantime, folks, check out Eras 1. Check out everything they got going on. Check out Digital Neon. That's all right. <laughs> Digital Neon. And check out their older their older work, which is the passage, breaking out, negative space, breaking out is our first EP. And the other two are singles. All that, folks. In the meantime, folks, love peace, chicken grease, look both ways before you cross the street. We will catch you, folks, on the the next episode. Peace. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun, man. That was